Yeah. All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the So today we talking about the the student who put her hands on the teacher and the teacher slapped her back. So we're going to talk about that. We be back. Who raised you? Crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. I'm just ahead of it. Oh right, yeah, we back, man. Sketch pad. You know what I mean? Before we get into the video, we passed we passed we almost had eleven thousand subscribers. We're gonna keep this thing going. YouTube has uh demonetized or not even demonetized, but they have uh did something with the super chats. We don't know what's going on. We're trying to get the thing back, but you know, either way, if you want to donate, links in the description, cash app, PayPal. Also, too, if you can't donate, all you gotta do is just share the content with your family and friends. We also on Twitter, we also on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, man. You know what I mean, follow some reactions too, man. You know what I mean? We do some good th- we do some good work over here. We do some good work. Greatest podcast in the world. Anyway, so um So we can't play the video because YouTube gives out strikes for playing videos like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk about it. And then the link will be in the description if you want to see the video. In its full totality, you can also just click the link and see it for yourself. So, um, you want to start this or you want me to start? I started. I started. Uh, I'll make it quick. All right. So, I watched the video like three, four times because I really wanted to see like if what I was seeing was actually true. You know what I mean? It wasn't some skit or whatever like that. And it was, it definitely was real. All right, so young girl had a phone out and then um, the teacher asked her to put the phone away politely. She refused and kept refusing. She got ignorant, words were exchanged and then she went, Pow! Slapped him because the teacher was like this in her face. He didn't touch her. He just was telling her to put the phone away. She said, I believe she said, get out of my face. And he didn't. And she went, pow! And slapped him. And he stood there in shock for a minute. He didn't couldn't believe that he was slapped by a student. Uh, the other uh, student in the corner was like, yo, I can't believe you just did that. And then the teacher was like, no, all right, all right, all right. Start rolling up his sleeves. So at that point, once he started rolling up the sleeves, I already knew what was about to happen. And then he also knew too that by him rolling up the sleeves and preparing himself that he was ready to take that loss and he didn't care. He slapped her back. <sighs> what I want to say is that for one, right, you got to draw the line of boundaries somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you kids cannot go and put your hands on a person that is licensed to educate you because you have a disagreement with them. That's one. You can't do that. You're not supposed to have cell phones in a classroom. Now, in college, it give or take depending on, you know what I'm saying, the professor that you got. But in high school, for sure, you ain't supposed to have your cell phone on you. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be there to get your education, to do what you got to do. That's what you're there for. But you kids of today are out there texting 
why the lecture going on, doing this, doing that, blah, blah, blah. That ain't cool. The teacher will feel disrespected. And I feel bad for the teacher because, like, you know, he's one of the teachers that probably actually care. There's other teachers that might see you do it and don't even care because they still get their check regardless. Why should they be worried about if you on your phone? If you choose to be on your phone all day and not learn, that's your business. And there's teachers like that. So, you know what I mean? He slapped her, like I said, and, you know, she said, oh, I'm going to tell my parents and whatnot. And he like, all right, get your parents. They can get slapped too, if that's what it is. And everybody was just in shock and whatever. It it, it was real crazy. Um, as for the teacher, I understand, you know what I mean, why and whatever, but... I don't know, man. It, it just, you never really know how you're going to react to something when, you know what I mean, when something like that happens, you know? You never really know until it actually happens. And then, you know, then you get the just of how you feel, you know? But when that adrenaline is pumping and, you know, you become out of place and out of mind and you forget where you at, anything could possibly happen, you know? Um, I hope he don't lose his job, you know, but he probably going to lose his job, probably going to get suspended, probably going to lose his license. It's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to happen to him. But then again, I don't know, you know what I mean? But it's really hard to really judge because like, unless you're in that situation, in that moment, can't really say, you know, so I don't know what I would have done, you know? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you, so you dead? <laughs> yeah, I'm finished. Yeah, I'm finished, man. Uh, fire that nigga. <laughs> he should be fired. First of all, who's the adult in the room? That's number one. Number two, I understand the whole dynamic with you don't supposed to be on your cell phone, right? But you broke the rule when you step to her you should have said get off your cell phone if she didn't get off her cell phone fail her that's it keep it moving you made yeah. it into a thing with between you and her when you stepped in her face you are the adult you are the teacher listen i understand the whole dynamic between teacher and student but at the same time you are the adult. That's number one. Number two, you are a man. That's a girl, a little girl. She ain't no older woman. She's a young lady. That's probably have a lot of things going on in her life, emotionally, psychologically, whatever you want to call it, right? She slapped you because it was a defense mechanism because of what society has constantly portrayed women being the victim so you in her face doesn't make her feel comfortable get out of my face you don't know if her parents do that you don't know if her boyfriend do that you don't know who does that to her where they constantly up in her grill like that you know what i'm saying telling her to do something she could have reacted because of that who knows but you broke the rule when you stepped to her you should tell her to get off her phone said no okay you ain't going to get off your phone? Fine. That's it. And then you fail her for not paying attention. You send her to the to the principal's office. That's it. But when you make it your, your point to do that now, she smacked you, right? You have about one point, we say zero point two seconds to slap her back off of a off of reaction. You did not... You did not react to her slapping you. You premeditatedly slapped her because you told her to apologize. And you said, she said no. And when she didn't apologize, you slapped her. 
that automatically is going to get you fired from the gate. <laughs> you're fired because you had a chance to think about your actions before you did it. She slapped you. You should have said, oh, you slapped me. Okay. Yeah. She's going to get expelled. She put her hands on the teacher. She's going to get suspended. It's you got to take the L. You got to take the L because you done ran. Now, if if she slapped, if you were if you were her age and you were a student and you were a female, or if you were a male her age and she slapped you and you hit her back, I could be like, okay, she slapped you. It's a fight, but you are the adult in the room. You can't expect these kids to. Uh, how would I say this? You can't expect these kids to be emotionally stable. They're not. These kids are these kids are way all over the place. So me personally, me personally, I think he should be fired. I don't think he should lose his license, but I think he should be fired from that position and maybe work somewhere doing something else because you can't do stuff like that, bro. There's no justification for you slapping that girl like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you had a chance to think about whether you should have did it or not. And then you, you told her you better apologize and then told her to go get her parents. Like, come on, bro. Slap <laughs> the girl. She falls all over the place. And you're like, oh, she's, I'm telling my dad. Go, go get your dad. You're going to slap her dad, too. Like, come on, bro. That's ghetto as hell. You mean me personally? If she was on the phone, I would say, I don't know her name. I would say, um, let's say her name was Cindy. I'd say, Cindy. i say, Cindy, listen. Can you please go on your phone? Because we, we, I'm, trying, I'm trying to teach this class. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to single you out, but just please get off your phone. If you don't want to get off your phone, then just go ahead to the principal's office and use your phone there. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would have handled it. I wouldn't have got in her face. Get off your phone. Like, I wouldn't have did that. Because I'm not her dad. I'm not her mom. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, hey, I don't care. When it comes to adults and children, <clears throat> I'm always going to side with the kids if the adult put their hands on them. I don't care under any circumstance. The adult should never put his hands on a child. That's just me personally. I don't think an adult should put their hands on a kid, especially if it ain't their kid. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if, you, if your kid came home and told you that they got slapped. <laughs> Not disciplined, slapped. By a, imagine if your daughter came home and told you that a teacher slapped her. A man. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's why that's why that's why I said that you know, you kind of don't really know. It de it depends on the person for one, two. You know what I'm saying? You kind of really don't know how you're going to react until it actually happens. Like you know, he did he did take longer than he should have if he was going to react because he it it was thought about, it was thought about, and he didn't he didn't necessarily like you know what I'm saying react like somebody hits you boom just automatically hit him back no he ain't do that thought about it you know what i mean i i, I honestly you know what i mean like i said you know i gotta stand but on my bro, word like, bro listen bro i don't bro listen the man rolled up his sleeves man which means yeah, he was trying to I, that, knock her is, head off bro and, and that's why i said that's why i said i was i wasn't sure if it was a skit or not because it, it just, it seemed too drawn out. You know what I mean? No, it wasn't a like, skit, bro. This was not a skit. This man slapped the girl, no, bro. I get what yeah, you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I get exactly yeah. what you're saying. But I'm saying, yeah. no, bro. He rolled the sleeves up. And he got ready. Yeah, no. And he told her, nah. if you don't apologize, you're going to suffer the consequences. It's going to happen to you. And she didn't apologize. And what happened? Try to knock yeah. her head off. And this is and this is why and this is why he probably, you know, shouldn't have gotten her personal space. I do I do agree with that. He shouldn't have gotten her personal space. Bro, if I the, wouldn't if the man I, let me ask you this question, bro. If your daughter came home and told you that some man her it don't gotta be it, it's a teacher, it's still a man. He slapped her. Yeah. She said, yeah, I granted I slapped him first. And then the first question you're going to ask is, where is he at? Or you're going to say, well, why did you slap him? And then she say, well, he invaded my personal space. 
you got in my face, you automatically going to say he wrong, bro. No. You going right. to go chip him up. Oh, I know nah, I would. he getting chipped up. <laughs> nah, he getting, he getting, he getting chipped up. And I, I guess, you know what I mean? I guess from, you know, you know, looking at it, looking at it from, from his perspective, you know what I mean? I guess I kind of like, you know, because when I look, when I look at the video, I see, I see, I see a lot of disrespect on the child's behalf. But when you, when you break it down like that, then, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, well, you know, there's a lot of other alternatives that play within that. You know what I mean? So I get it. I get Man, it. You know what I mean? I can be a child can be disrespectful, respectful, whatever you want to call it. The key word in that sentence is child. That's it, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, I, it, it might be some little little young boys running around doing some crazy stuff, right? But he's still a child. They haven't even fully developed yet. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to me, him getting in her personal space, that was the wrong thing to do. Because you, you're not her father. You don't get in her face like, Dude, put your phone away. Like, why? And then mm -hmm. and then she's defending herself because she's thinking you are gonna might you might want to do something to her. And listen, I'm saying all this not justifying what the girl did. I'm not justifying what she did, not at all. I'm just saying that as a child, you you gotta expect these things to happen from kids, especially working in a school. You work in a school. Yeah. You already know working that that's what they're going to do. They do a lot of goofy stuff. Their yeah, kids don't in listen. The school system. You know what I'm saying? So if she has her uh, 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 her phone, so what? Like Whatever. Mm. Just say, listen, you have your phone? Okay, cool. You're going to get detention. <laughs> that's it. Just give her detention all week. What else can you do? You know what I'm saying? That's just me, but hey, man. That's just, hey, that's how I feel, man. Don't put your hands on no kids, man. That's wrong with you. That's just me, so. But, uh, you got anything nah. else? Nah. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, man, we out of here, man. Sketchpad. See you. Peace. Keep your hands off the kids, man. <laughs>